Hello everyone. Now we will learn that what do you need to do once you have shared your screen with the student. Now, once you have shared your screen with the student, you have to drag your mouse to the top of the screen or to the bottom of the screen and then you will get this black color toolbar. I am getting this black color toolbar on the top of my screen. Maybe you will get this black color toolbar on the bottom of your screen. So you have to check it. In this black color toolbar, here you will get mute and mute option. Here you will get start stop video option. Here you will get list of the participant and here you will get new share. Now, what is the new share? Suppose you are taking a class and you require more space to write anything, to solve any question. So you have to click here on the new share and then you will be redirected here. Now from here you have to choose the whiteboard. So whiteboard is a complete white screen and you require more space to write anything. So that's why you have to choose the whiteboard from here and then you have to click here on the share option and then you will be able to share your whiteboard with the student. Now, I'm going to show you practically how you can use your annotate option. So I already told you that annotation is a tool through which you can write and draw whatever you want to write and draw. So first of all, you have to click here on the annotate option like this, and then you will get the sub option. Now, suppose I want to write a text. So I need to click here on the text option, and then I need to click here on my screen, and then I can write whatever I want to write. Suppose I want to change the color of my text, then I need to click here on the format and like this, I can change the color of my text as well. Now, if I want to draw anything, any rectangle, triangle, anything, then I need to click here on the draw option and like this, I can draw whatever I want to draw. Suppose I want to use a stamp, so I need to click here on the stamp and like this, I can use a stamp as well. Now, if I want to highlight anything to my student, any word, any point, then I need to click here on the spotlight and th like this, I can highlight whatever I want to highlight. Suppose I want to erase everything, then I need to click here on the eraser and like this, I can erase whatever I want to erase. Now, everyone, I'm going to tell you two points here, which you need to take care whenever you will use your annotate option. First, that you have to make sure that you are erasing each and everything before changing your slide. You have to make sure that you are erasing each and everything otherwise your screen get freeze. Second, that never use clear button instead of the eraser button otherwise your screen get freeze. So you have to take care of these two points whenever you will use your annotate option otherwise your screen get freeze. Now, what is the meaning of more option? Suppose you are taking the class and in between the session, you will get that a student will try to write anything on your screen without your permission and you don't want them to write anything. So what do you need to do? You have to stop their annotate option. For disable their annotate option, you have to click here on the more option like this and then you will get the sub option. From here, you have to choose the disabled participants annotation and then a student will not able to write anything on your screen. Similarly, if you want them to write anything, then you have to enable it as well. Always use blank space to write anything, to draw anything, never ever write on the already written text or on the diagram. Thank you.